<laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? My bad. It's been like two weeks when I put something else. And I mean, I had a cruise about a week ago with my family. And then before that, it's um, some stuff messed up right there. And uh, it's like inside my my phone and my computer and stuff. It was kind of tripping, so I had to buy some other stuff to make it work. But I think it's going to work right now, so... Tell me if it sounds good right now, right? But anyways, I'm gonna do a reaction of Jesse Lee Peterson right now for a uh, atheist, All right? So let's go. Y'all ready? I know y'all ready. All right, for sure. Oh. How y'all been up to do, man? All y'all been good? Just chilling. Y'all ready for the summer? Man, I live right there in California where I live in the valley, and it's not hot yet. But man, it's gonna be for about like three, four months. It's gonna be a hundred degrees, and I'll be like, "Damn!" So when that happens, it's gonna be all bad. But it's, it's I think it's like eighty right now, late seventies, eighties right now. That's cool, and it's been running too last couple of days. When I, I'm like, "Damn, man!" I'm like, "Damn!" Yeah. Anybody have any any plans in the summer? Anything that's gonna be popping? Y'all know me. Comment. I just wanted to I'm just, you know, have a conversation, you know. So that's who I is. Okay. So anyways, let's go, Jess Lee Peterson. Y'all ready? Three, two, one. Do you support transgender men and women going into bathrooms and showers and dressing room rooms of choice? Yes, I, I support them. They, they they should have the right to go into any any bathroom that, that they feel their orientation dictates so if a man is walking down the road and and he decides you know what i just feel like a woman hmm. see that's that's not that's, <laughs> that's not that's being disingenuous hey but to be honest though because i got my little sister i, I tell you all the time man like i have a got family that are gay and everything all that kind of stuff but if it's like a trend my sister's seven years old and she has the bathroom and see a trend right there i want to be comfortable with that to be real i wouldn't but <laughs> this dude is on some boo. Oh, I forgot the ones. But anyway, he on some boo boo right there, man. He's lying. He said, the whole no, I'm not. No, it's real. And he said, yeah, oh, I you don't just go. walk down the road. There's, this is a process. I know. I understand most of these people from a very early age, and it's documented and researched. Most of these human beings from a very early age have an identity for their sexual orientation. Now, it may may not fit. You know right. where that influence come from? No, sir, but you're gonna let me know. So. Your, your <laughs> father, the devil. The father, the devil. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Of course, where else would it come from? The devil. <laughs> yeah, I think, I seen the, the clips with him before. The other guy, though, he believes of uh, the devil, but he doesn't believe in God. And, you know, like Satan. But to me, that doesn't make no sense with me. But if you guys can try to if you make sense with that, can you comment? Because I don't understand. How do you believe about, like, the devil, Satan, but then you don't believe in God? You're atheist? I don't... How does that make sense? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> so this man walking down the road, and all of a sudden he just feels like a woman. Yeah. And and now he needs to use the bathroom. All be of like sudden, South Park. Right, he needs to use the bathroom. <laughs> There's a bathroom over there. He goes over and he walks right into the woman's bathroom. Your daughter is sitting there using the bathroom. How would you feel about that? My daughter sitting there using the bathroom. She's going to be done in a second. No, she's I said, not how would you personally feel about that? This man walking in there, right, looking at your daughter. Now, see, you guys, you, he this, got this, look this, at this, her. Is this is what religious people do. Now, how would you feel I would about assume that? What if it's not a religion, though? It's not. How is it a religion? You just like, it's going to be kids, girls that's going to use the bathroom, and it's cool to have, like, a grown man to go use the bathroom with the girls right there. No, see, like, he's thinking it's religion. No, it's <laughs> She's sitting in a stall with the door closed. Not all bathrooms have stalls. But how would you feel about that? He's standing there looking at it. Uh -huh. Why wouldn't he be using the restroom when he came in there? He's going to be looking around. He's not going to sit uh, there and close his eyes. 
<laughs> the question is, how would you feel about that? I, I feel fine. My, 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 I raise my kids to be very intelligent. Why is it always the religious people that feel they have the, the moral right and the justification to go in and decide what you should do in your bedroom and what you should do? Because you have morals and he doesn't have any. As exactly, he doesn't. Like, he can have, like, a lot of freaking dudes come kick it with his wife or something. And he'd be like, oh, it's cool, it's cool. Like, man, if it was me, if I had a wife right there, right? And if you see about four, three, I don't know, even one dude just slide through to the house. You didn't even know him. Like, what the hell is this, man? You got to bounce. You know? He's like, no, it's cool. You can hang out. It's all right, man. You're lying. He's lying, man. This dude's in the lying. Bathroom. So you taught your daughter to be intelligent enough to sit there on that stall while this man is sitting there using it and looking at her. My, my, my and children you as a father wouldn't have a problem with that at all. Wouldn't have a problem with it at all. How about if your daughter just finished PE in high school? She's in the 10th, 11th grade. Mm -hmm. and I know, man. Like, if you come right there and then you see little kids and they have those trends right there, come over there. I mean, if you go to a gay club, bar, yes, that's their thing, right? But if you're in what it is like that, it's like, man... That's a little bit too much, man, because I told you, kids going to come over there and going to see the bodies like that and like, oh, mom, dad, what's this? It's like, I seen it right there. Is that a guy? But I thought I thought this is the girl's bathroom, you know? Everybody's just trying to delusional everybody right there, man, so you don't understand what's happening. You don't know right and wrong or to understand like, oh, this and this. It's cool to do that. It's like, man, how is it cool? And it's not cool at all, man. There's a guy in the same class. And it's time to take a shower. This guy said, oh, I feel like a girl. I want to take a shower with the girls. They all go into the girls' bathroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the, the boys and the girls getting naked, getting into the shower together. Would you be okay with for your daughter to go through that process? I'd be fine with it. You know why I'm he not lying. surprised? Yeah, man, because he's Because he's your father. Okay. So I wouldn't be surprised. Hi, Dad. <laughs> So there are no limits, except for good, there are no limits as to what Satan will have his children to do. As human beings, we need to apply common sense. He doesn't have no, you don't have no common sense. To all of these. You, you don't have no common sense. You think a guy is a girl and a girl is a guy. So you have no common sense. What the hell is he talking about, man? This dude is out of pocket. It's <laughs> uh, potential situations that you're, that you're speaking of. How you know, about the, respects of, the respect of the men and women who are not for that? They don't want a, a man or a woman walking into their shower. Well, that, that's why it's a into democracy. Their bathroom this is why we have a democracy and a What Supreme about Court? the respect for those people? Uh, they, they have rights, of should course. They, they have rights, too. But they have, they they have the right to not concern themselves with what goes on in the privacy of a bathroom or a should bedroom. Should they be respected? Everybody's rights should be respected. And so when but there's certain, know certain where things got, that, that when, you get out of, out of your Bible. When I don't know where you, the government create this rule that you can use whatever shower or bathroom mm. you want to just impose on the folks who disagree with that. Are they respecting those people? Every, everyone's rights should be respected. Are those people being respected who disagree with that? Yes, they're not being disrespected. Why is that? Because what happens in the privacy of a bathroom... It's not a private... A, a bathroom is a public place. Mm -hmm. a bathroom if it's a outside place. of your home... So take a, take, a take, take, a a camera, take a camera into a bathroom, see, see how, well, you know see how all, it goes for you. You know that's already happening with these so-called transgender people, right? Do you believe transgender is a mental illness or you think Satan... I believe religion, religion is a mental illness. Whoa, see, what the heck? You, do you see what he just said? Let's go back a little bit. Okay, so if you want to be a guy to girl, girl and guy, he's saying, is that like mental, you know, right there? He's like, no, re religion is. Whoa, this dude, he really just said that? So-called transgender people, right? Do you believe transgender is a mental illness or you think Satan... I believe religion, religion is a mental illness. So you, would you have a problem with your wife shower with a man in a... Your wife goes mm -hmm. to the gym? Yeah, she sure does. She works out, right? Yes. And let's say there's some guys in there who say they feel like women. They Even feel. though there's no proof, but they just say they, they just feel, feel like They just feel feeling feminine mm -hmm. today. Right. Want to go, go in because they looked over and they saw your wife and she was so fine. Uh-huh. She's she Yeah, I think this is a... Man, see how it is now. Like they're playing sports and stuff. The guys playing with the girls, they're, they're, they're like demolishing them. You know that dude just like, playing um, swimming right there, and he was what three hundred inside the country, and then this dude was number one as a trend. 
<laughs> that was like two years ago or something. I'm like, damn, yeah, come on, man. Y'all tripping with this, man. Y'all got to stop lying to everybody like this. Guy's a guy, girl's a girl. And if you want to be you, that's you, okay? All right? If you think you want to change and save her, I will respect you. But at the same time, to me, my belief is I believe that you're not, but I will respect you. And it's all good. Yeah, but if you get all booty tickled on sensitive because of me, it's like, oh, it's just, it's like, man, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'll cry. Probably Pilates and all that, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah. And they said, wow, I feel like shower with the women today. I feel like a woman. Would you be okay with that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. He lying. You're absolutely fine with it. So you're not even. Man, he is lying, dude. Why is he lying? To protect your wife from. Because I know my wife. From the invaders. How, how would they be invaded? They were trans. They're transgender. We're talking about transgender people. We're what is a transgender to you? To me, uh -huh. it's, it's someone who was born in, with the anatomy of the opposite sex, and it, and it, it could happen. The, the chemical makeup in the brain. The research determined all of this. That they actually identify as the opposite sex. Black Lives Not Matter. Black. You heard of Black Lives Matter? I'm working yes, a little of time. Yes, sir. It's a radical agitation. Wait, I'm going to see if they can keep going because it's going from Black Lives Matter with it. It's going back to back to back. So I'm going to see for a little second. And if it's like, my, not, it's going different, then I'm just going to stop it. But let's just see. Group of people. How do you feel about them? Well, you know, they call Martin Luther King radical also. How about Black Lives Matter? I, I, I think it's good to see the youth. Stand up and be active. Working 10 years yeah, to go to maximum security prisons. Break some I shit. I can tell you that the prisons in California are full of blacks and Latinos. Right. African American males make up only 6% of the prison of the state population, but we make. Oh, well, wait. I've been saying this for a while. Hold on. Let me go back because this is what I tell people all the time. Only 6% of the prison of the state population, but we make up 46% of the prison population. Why so many in jail and prison? Why? Because of our capitalistic society. You have hyper-segregation in, in these urban areas with no jobs, no opportunities, very little hope, and then you expect for them to, you know, so not you like, survive. So they're doing saying, crimes of survival. You're saying that they're killing each other like this. Uh, in, in Chicago, it's gone up 80% since the police backed down. You're yeah. saying they're doing it because of capitalism? No, I, I'm saying they're doing it out of a lack of opportunity. If those, <laughs> same, if those same young men had education and jobs, right. they wouldn't have to look at the, the gang or the drug route. They wouldn't have to. That wouldn't be their only option. Yeah, but they have to, have to te teach them. But if they want to get teach, that's the one thing about that, man. I have homies, man, my whole life. They want to be... The same thing right now. I'm like, man, dude, still, we're, like, come on, man, we're getting a little old now. Still doing that? <laughs> man, all you're going to do is just go to prison. What happens to your kids? You're not going to see your kids, man. You got to, like, you got to use your head. Option. Let me, let me, let me, tell, you, let me, let me tell you something. And, and, and hang out with you. Hang, you got to stop hanging out with the wrong crowd, too, some people, man. Because people have conscience. It's going to hit you sometimes. Like, my conscience is going to be like, should I go hang out with these people right now? But you know that they're drunk and these dudes are like, awesome stuff. What should we do? Nah, man, just be like, I'm going to go to the other side, you know? Stay home or go to another crowd, <laughs> you know? You, you guys always talk about blacks killing blacks. What do we kill blacks with? With guns, right? Yeah, that's we what we kill a lot of each other with, you. with guns. Right. Any, any, any of you guys ever, ever ask the question? Where do we get our guns at? How many African American <laughs> guns? How many African American gun manufacturers do we have in the United States? Zero. But so, what does that have to do with anything? Where are we getting our guns at? Let me say this to you. Our race. No, on, never, no, one nothing. thing you don't know is that our race on a plantation. You were raised on a plantation. Yeah, down in Alabama, under Jericho laws, mm -hmm. and uh, we were restricted from living in certain areas. Mm -hmm. uh, but and, and blacks were poor. We never stole. We never killed each other. It wasn't happening then. We respected each other. We worked hard and did what we had to do. We went to all black school, the killing, the raping, the robbing, and having all these babies out of wetlock. There were some kids born out of wetlock, but it wasn't like it is today. And blacks had less opportunity then than they do now. So how do you explain that it wasn't happening then, but it is today? I'm gonna explain it. I'm gonna explain it like this. You you you're saying blacks do do all of this. Did you know that Latinos 
have children out of wedlock? Did you know that whites mm -hmm. have yeah. children out of wedlock? You're, you're pitching whole, holding a, a whole. But he's talking to one. He's not, not all, everything not, that's right. Not all, not all, but yes, most. Yes, you are. Not all, not yeah, all. but you know, it is the highest is the black community. I think like Hispanic and Latin. So over there, it's like second. It's like fifty-one percent, and that one, like blacks, is like seventy-seven percent. I don't know the white ones though. And Asian, it's like way lesser with how many people is, but it's still happening. But you know, all the most. You have any stats that we brought can you, up? Can you Google some of this? It's like about? like me, right? Because I'm mixed as hell: Mexican, Filipino, Native American, and white. All right, so I am mixed. All right, so. Let's say if I go to jail or prison, they're going to see me as Mexican, though. And it's cool. But that's how it is. They always hit. But we was trying to say this right there, man. It's going to like you. You're going to be black in the prison or whatever it is right there. You're going Asian in that one, too. This one, this one. It's like, yeah, everybody's seen that kind of way if you do something wrong. Of course, you're white. <laughs> like people think every white white people are so perfect and stuff too. It's like, dude, white people got problems too, man. Everybody got problems. Everybody does. It's like, how are you gonna solve it and go the next level? You know. We brought up black people about Black Lives Matter. When we, when Correct. We, when yeah, we yeah. About that's black what we, that's Lives what we started Matter. though. I gotta ask, when Black Lives Matter were chanting, what do we want? Pits in the blanket. What do we want? Dead cops. When do we want them now? Marching in New York. Did you agree with that? No, I didn't agree with that. But what well, that that was, was that not wrong. Black Lives Matter. Yes, it was. Was no, it wrong? wrong? They were not yeah, active members of clips. Black Lives Matter. Those are people no, that joined the no, parade. No, it was. It's Black Lives Matter, buddy. No. Did you agree with that? No, of course not. I'm, okay. a, I'm a former peace officer myself. Well, you better say that. I'm a former peace officer myself. It was just discovered that one of the fundraisers of Black Lives Matter and a member of the organization was, you know, raising all this money mm -hmm. for the organization Correct. while at the same time pimping out a 17 year old black girl mm. okay no bad. Look at me like that's my fault what do you think about <laughs> that well I, that's that's horrible is it evil who would do that who would do that a black life matter guy <laughs> okay it was your satan that did that <laughs> yeah <me. laughs> but what does that what does that have to do with steve hill <laughs> but you like black lives matter you think that this group is a good it's group and it's not well, what do you think about the Klan? Klan? The Klan, Klan, Klan is a Christian organization. The what same about thing them? as Black Lives Matter. They're no different. Damn. Interesting. Hey, man, that was good, man. That was a good debate. I think that Jesse Lee Peterson got him, though. <laughs> yeah, to me. Because this dude, he's saying that stuff. He's like, oh, it's cool if my wife to go inside the the girl's bath oh, bathroom right there or inside the locker to take a shower with a trans, some, some, some. Or that she's probably like, he's not a trend though. But so I'm like, man, you're lying, dude. If it was me, me, I'd be like, nah, no. Uh-uh. Like, what are you doing? What's the matter with this shit? But lying, man. But tell me what y'all think about this, all right? All right, man, like, subscribe, show love, and thumbs up, man. And I got my bad. And like I said, I've been over there for about two weeks. I'm going to do some new ones and new ones and new ones this whole week right here, man. All right, peace.